delegation of United States automotive component companies is visiting currently in South Africa. Their goal, which coincides with the Johannesburg International Motor Show, is to engage with black businesses in the automotive industry who can benefit from skills and expertise and development. Joining us now on the desk is Henk Sneeman, the CEO of the Gauteng Tooling Initiative. Thank you so much, Henk, for joining us. Great to have you in the studio. Thank you. As I mentioned, uh, we've got the U.S. minority or the SME uh, companies visiting from the U.S. at this point and as I said, coinciding with the, the uh, Moto show that is currently underway. Are we just sitting with discussions at this point in time or has there been action yeah. that has no, occurred over the past no, few days? No, no, I think there's a lot more than uh, just a pure discussion taking place. We have uh, shown the uh, visitors a number of companies in South Africa and they have indicated that uh, they are very interested in, in what we are doing and uh, we are sure that they are going to bring uh, expertise and uh, knowledge to to our local uh, PE companies and uh, we are sure that uh, more than more than just uh, a talk shop is is happening right now. In what form is this going to be? Are we talking about joint ventures essentially yeah. here? Yeah, uh, wh what is happening is the, the companies that, that has been in, uh, invited to South Africa currently already supply their OEMs and what they are doing is in, in, in the United States, in Mexico and in India, they've been successful there and they are now willing to transfer that success recipe to, to South Africa so that we can uh, get the, uh, the, the, in the SMEs in South Africa going, especially the black companies going, supplying the OEMs. Within the original equipment manufacturing uh, within, space? Within the original equipment, yes, correct. Tell, tell us about the economic viability within South Africa because one would argue that uh, yeah. other countries in it are, yeah. are far more economically viable when it comes to the OEMs. Yeah. Uh, the, the biggest problem that uh, the, the, the emerging companies in South Africa has is, is the confidence that the OEMs have in them. If they are then partnering, partnering with a, a company that is currently supplying to the OEMs in other parts of the world, the confidence level is, is that much higher. and. Uh, and, uh, and we think business is going to go from that because there's going to be a hand-holding period, there's going to be technology transfer, there's going to be skills transfer, and uh, the OEMs can then uh, contract with the local companies with great confidence. So you're saying it's more of a confidence issue that is playing out uh, at this point as opposed to a monetary one? Yeah, it's more a confidence issue, yes, mm. and technology transfer issue. Uh, with regards to the skills transfer, tell us about how this is going to impact the space. Uh, give us an indication of some of the the projects that could come to South Africa. Yeah, uh, <coughs> what we have now is is we have one of the big projects in South Africa currently is the the National Tooling Initiative, of which the Gauteng Tooling Initiative is a portion. That means, in three or four years from now, three years from now maximum, we are going to have a number of very very skilled uh, guys coming through the ranks. They they are going to they will be in a position and they will be able to fill the jobs and the technology jobs that is ab that will become available as we produce more in South Africa. So in the end this is uh, getting getting the technology and the information to the local uh, labor and and tying them up and the confidence comes in that there will be some hand holding uh, f from the United States minority companies that's that's going to support here in South Africa. Essentially, these OEMs that will be manufactured in South Africa will not be used for export. Would it be used? No, for no, no. Is it both? Yes, yes. There are the companies supplying uh, that's being supplied to. Uh, they they are delivering to a world market, and uh, these investments will not take place if it's not economic viable. So, uh, we just have to sit down and make these things work, and and get away from. Uh, the notion that we are not economically viable. With regards to the, the whole uh, topic when it comes to labor and wages, this has been one of the big hindrances within the manufacturing sector. We know the local currency coupled with uh, the uh, aggressive wage talks have been a very big focus so far this year. Has this your, been your experience as well? Do you find this is one of the biggest challenges for the industry? It, it's, it's a challenge, but it's, it's not an insurmountable uh, block, uh, stumbling block in, in terms of the industry going forward. But it will always, uh, labor costs will always remain a challenge, but we have very, very good material here and, and we will compete on technology. Talk, talking on uh, the employment scenario, what kind of jobs, what number of jobs do you think will be created well, through I, this initiative? Okay, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm pressing the, uh, the initiative that uh, we will have uh, 
save 25 jobs by the end of the week. And uh, I'll, I'll be save 25 jobs. Well, we, we, there's, there's companies that's that's dithering, and we'll 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 rescue them by the end of the week. And uh, then uh, the the numbers I I cannot uh, call a number now, but over a, over a year I would imagine that we could uh, create anything from 100 to 300 jobs. Uh, during the next year, depending on the volumes that we will be able to produce in South Africa with the support uh, of the uh, delegation that's currently in South Africa. Fantastic, Henk. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to have you in studio. Thank you. Henk Sneeman, the CEO of the Gauteng Tooling Initiative.